Hi everyone. Today we're going to do something a bit different and discuss a market trend from the Indian real estate industry. A lot of people have been asking me about data centers and I feel like this is an important trend to understand and to watch out for. We're going to discuss the state of the data center market in India right now, what the future could look like and how you could take advantage and get involved as an investor. So firstly, what is a data center? Data centers house the servers that transfer information to and from your devices when you're using the internet or most of the apps on your phone. And the building facility that houses these racks full of servers is known as a data center. These data centers require a specialized infrastructure in terms of the buildings in which they are housed, the network infrastructure required to run them, the electricity requirements and even the cooling. Because of this, these data centers require a large amount of investment up front. Now let's have a look at the Indian data center market. With over a billion smartphones and over 700 million internet subscribers, India has seen exponential growth in the use of e-commerce, digital services and social media. In terms of mobile data, India actually has the highest consumption globally and this is expected to double based on the availability of cheap mobile broadband. Further, if the proposed Data Protection Act gets passed, companies would be required to physically host consumer data within the boundaries of the country and this could also increase the demand for data centers within India. This demand has the potential to create a boom in the Indian data center market over the coming few years. Some reports are even suggesting that the existing data center capacity could double over the next three years. This market momentum has also attracted foreign investment into data centers with almost $400 million coming in as investment over the first nine months of 2020. Given the prevailing usage trends and our rapidly expanding internet user base, it is predicted that India will need three to four times the current data center capacity over the next decade. The government has also created a draft data center policy from the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. This draft policy aims to streamline the process of setting up a data center, set up standardized practices, and is even looking at the possibility of categorizing data centers as infrastructure. So how does the growth of the Indian data center market relate to real estate. At the end of the day, a data center is an income earning real estate asset. According to a recent report by Anarok and Mace, these data centers have the potential to become one of the most popular alternative income earning real estate assets. They go on to suggest that data centers as alternative real estate assets could provide yield income to large institutional investors. Given the scale of investments involved and the growth prospects of the industry, there are financial products to take advantage of these returns. For example, in mature markets like the US, there are data center REITs. These REITs manage and maintain the infrastructure of data centers and rent out this portfolio on behalf of investors, just like any other real estate investment trusts. The tenants here could be large corporate clients or even large cloud computing companies. In fact, since the impact of COVID-19 and work from home becoming more and more popular, data centers have been the most popular and well-performing categories in REIT markets in the US this year. In the first half of the year, four out of the 10 top performing REITs in the US market were data center REITs. This year, as most other real estate related businesses suffered due to the pandemic, data center REITs are up about 20%. In the case of India, the pandemic and work from home has led to a transition to third party servers being promoted as a service instead of corporates building their own large data centers, which could further expand the demand in this market. This is a very new market in India and reflects a strong market trend. Once this market matures and there is a reasonable asset base of these data centers across different cities in India, we could see financial products or investment vehicles being set up for this. Before these opportunities trickle down to retail investors like you and me, either through individual REITs or specialized data center companies being listed on Indian markets, 
institutional investors and managed funds will look to take advantage of these gains. To give you an example of this, Kotak has recently launched an international REIT fund of funds. The point of this video was to make you as an investor aware of market trends and to show you where the industry is heading so that you are able to see new opportunities when they arise and be able to make informed and educated decisions about these opportunities. I hope that this video gave you an idea about how data centers are changing the real estate industry in the future and what sort of products and services might be available to you as an investor in the near future. If you enjoy such market trends videos, please let me know and I could make a series on different kinds of emerging market trends in real estate. All right, everyone, thank you so much for listening. Once again, if you enjoyed this content, please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think in the comments below. See you again in the next video. Thank you.